Ball operations, Peter Dinwiddie's voice is one of the most influential in the Pacers front office. Our Lara Overton outlines Dinwiddie's rise in the organization. If I had a crystal ball, I definitely wouldn't envision that, you know, I'd be in this current uh, position with the Pacers. Getting to this position as senior vice president of his hometown franchise started within a cubicle in the field house, long before Peter Dinwiddie envisioned having his name outside one of its top executive offices. My path is a little bit unique. I started in 2006 in ticket sales. Um, and I was an account exec, and that's the very bottom of the um, totem pole. The Cathedral grad worked as an attorney before trading the legal profession for an entry-level sales job. Since I don't have the basketball background, I knew that if, in order for me to receive an opportunity, I probably would need to have a law degree just so I could add some value on the administrative side. That value was quickly realized by then Pacers president Donnie Walsh. Donnie wanted to reached out uh, to me to find out if I'd be interested in meeting with him because he was curious as to why we had an attorney working in ticket sales. And so I met with Donnie um, and kind of gave Donnie my background and told Donnie that I had aspirations um, to try and you know work in, on the basketball side. Donnie said, well, I'd like to kind of mentor you and I'd like to bring you in on a bi-weekly basis and I'll give you different projects and after you do the projects, I'll review the projects, give you feedback. When Walsh left to take the Knicks job, he assured Dinwiddie was left in good hands. I was sitting in my cubicle in 2008 and all of a sudden my phone rang and I looked and the Carl ID said Larry Bird. He said, you know, I talked to Donnie based on Donnie's recommendation. Um, I'd like to offer you a position um, as director of basketball administration. You know, I was totally blown away and caught off guard. Learning under Walsh, then Bird, and now President Kevin Pritchard helped Dinwiddie ascend to the top of the organization and put him in prime position to one day lead a team. You know, ideally, my next step would be to become a general manager. Um, but there are only there's 30 NBA teams, 29 other teams. And so you have to be patient. Patience is something that has suited Dinwiddie well thus far, both in his career and through pivotal off-season periods in positioning the franchise back into playoff contention. Last season, we had a team that we knew was going to compete, but we didn't know how many wins that was going to translate to. Well, now, since we somewhat overachieved, now we have to try and sustain the success that we started or we had last year. So, you know, now it's more pressure, but it's, it makes it more challenging and more fun. Um, so, you know, I think if we can maybe add some pieces to the bench or, um, you know, just try and continue to evaluate and see what options we have via free agency and via um, trade and, you know, see what pieces we can bring in here to, you know, keep the momentum going. Ultimately, Dinwiddie hopes to see a championship banner hanging when he looks out those office windows and give his hometown something to celebrate. Eventually, one day, we'd love to, you know, bring a championship to the city, to the state and, you know, have a parade and, it would be, you know, phenomenal, and that's, you know, that drives me each and every day, and that's what we work towards. From the St. Vincent Center, Lara Overton, Indy Sports Central. Thank you, Lara. Indy Zone.